More than 1,600 people have been rescued in Florida since Hurricane Ian hit. Rescues are ongoing throughout homes one by one. They're marking each one of those homes as cleared. Volunteer search and rescue teams are a huge part of this effort because many systems are frankly overwhelmed. There is one group that has been on the ground since the beginning, Project Dynamo. This team originally founded to help get Americans and allies out of Afghanistan and more recently, Ukraine. Uh, really important. Son got text from mother earlier today. She thinks she is dying. Obesity related underlying conditions, but she doesn't know if she got injured. She doesn't, he doesn't know if she got injured. He gave permission to knock door down if needed. That is Brian Stern. He's the co-founder of Project Dynamo, also a Florida native, and he and his team are taking a pause from helping get people out of Ukraine to help in the rescue efforts in Florida. Brian is joining us live this morning. Brian, good to have you as always. I understand you just went through a rescue. What can you tell us? Uh, yeah, we're doing, uh, we had our first boats in the water about 9 a.m. on day one, and we've been doing operations pretty much, uh, pretty much uh, all day, all night other than sleeping a little bit since then, including about uh, 15 minutes ago, and I'm about to go do another one. So uh, it, uh, we've been very busy. We had boats in the water right around 9 a.m. Uh, uh, Sanibel Fire says actually we were the first ones in the water on the island, which is pretty remarkable. Um, uh, it, it is pretty terrible out here. The damage is uh, catastrophic. It looks like a war zone, and I say that with a tremendous amount of war zone experience, obviously. So um, it's pretty terrible. It's pretty terrible out here. Brian, tell me about the moment when you reach some of these people who have been needing help for days um, and you finally get to them, um, the relief and what you encounter. Yeah, uh, some of them are uh, uh, in shock. Some of them um, smile. Some of them cry. Some of them can't believe it. Uh, we've actually um, we actually rescued somebody uh, yesterday who saw me on your show from a from a Ukraine piece that you did, and they said you that you're that guy from TV from Ukraine, and I said yes, ma'am, I'm here for you. So um, uh, uh, the the emotional. With these kinds of situations, and we see this in the war zones also, the mental health piece of these disasters and these situations are is remarkable. Uh, you could rebuild a house, but you really can't rebuild livelihood, if that makes sense. Or, or you know, people, again, you know, we, we've rescued, you know, Afghans and Americans from Afghanistan who are now refugees into America. We brought Americans who are now refugees from Ukraine out. Now we're literally bringing people from the state of Florida who are now refugees, Americans who are now refugees with all their belongings whittled down to a small suitcase, hmm. uh, as we saw in, in Ukraine too. So yeah. it's pretty terrible. It's very emotional for all of us. My whole team is, um, is doing great, but it's, uh, it really is extremely sad. And because this is our state, we're all we are, we're all from here. Um, you know, I live about three hours away from where I'm about to go do this rescue now. And this is my area code, so um, uh, that also touches home in a, in a in a in a very big way. Right. I mean, it it must wear you down. I mean, even though you train for this, you've seen the worst. It looks like a war zone. Um, it has to take an emotional toll on you and your guys as well. Yeah, you know, we uh, I, I, I came out of Ukraine about a week and a half ago. I, I actually go back next week. I'm supposed to be uh, doing my taxes and spending some time with family. And and here we are back at it again. Uh, day, you know, day one, first in as usual. Um, and uh, but how, again, knowing that we're good at this, we are we are a professional rescue organization. It's kind of uh, the wrong answer, uh, I think. To, to not help in this situation when there's so much help that, that's needed. I'm so impressed by you guys, uh, Brian, you and your entire team. Um, I can't help but look at some of the damage and wonder about the dangers involved in some of these rescues. I mean, just the heavy lifting to get some of these boats off the top of houses and cars. Um, how are you navigating some of those dangers right now? Very, very carefully. Uh, that's a great point. Uh, the way we're for Dynamo, we do uh, we we our approach to a lot of these situations, just like Afghanistan and Ukraine, is a little unconventional. Uh, we're literally doing beach, you know, where we beach our boats. It looks it looks like D-Day is what it looks like. We beach our boats, kind of storm the beach with our hand tools, chainsaws, and my team, and uh, and we go house to house. We get addresses of where we need to go. We go there, and then we search in the area also. 
and um, there's there's electrical wires everywhere. There's down power lines everywhere. There's thousands of trees that are uh, like Jenga that can crush us at any time, plus drowning and everything else. You know, as I look at some of the images, I believe we're looking at images of you guys on Sanibel. How much of the island is there still left to search for survivors and people who need to be rescued? Um, uh, 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 unknown. We don't. We don't. Uh, we communicate up, not down. So we receive information and then we go and take care of it and report it back. Uh, it's unknown to me how much has been searched, but I know that we've been on Sanibel, North Captiva, Captiva, Mat Lache, Pine Island. We've been we've been all over these barrier islands, um, all over the place, all over the place. Our kind of tactic is to get in through the wood, through the beach, through the woods, hack our way to where we need to go. And uh, and then um, and then hit the houses that way. And then where do the people go, Brian? After you rescue them, you take them on a boat back over to the mainland. Um, from then, are you in touch with folks on how they're finding help and support? Uh, we, we're uh, we're getting a lot of follow up back, but honestly, we're so busy, we're focused on saving the people that need to be saved, not necessarily onward progress. The the resources that are now showing up from. Uh, from from uh, from the different uh, state, local, lo local, state, and federal agencies, they're handling all that. We don't we don't really, um, you know, once we get them safe, we want to go on to get more people safe. If that makes sense. Yep, absolutely. Hey, before I let you go, um, tell people how they can help out you in your efforts right now in Florida, because I know the public uh, plays a major role in allowing you guys to do this important uh, life saving work. Uh, yeah, our, our website is projectdynamo.org. We are entirely all volunteers. No one's paid, including me. Uh, uh, and but, but we are also donor funded. And these boats cost money. The gas costs money. Batteries to charge my chainsaw cost money. We need financial support and we need it bad. There's so much work to be done. This is a years long problem. We won't be here that long. We'll be here for a little bit longer, but we do need help. We're, um, uh, and if you're not going to give to us, give to a reputable organization. Uh, there's lots of good ones out there. There's lots of bad ones out there. Do your homework. Mm. The other thing is that if you have friends and family that you haven't heard from and they're trapped, please register on the website. I can't go find people if I don't know where they're at. That said, if you register on our website and you find out that your loved one is now safe, please let us know. I'd rather spend four hours going to a house that might be might have somebody in there than waste four hours going to an empty house that that somebody knew was empty. It just it's very labor intensive. We're doing this by hand, cutting through the woods by hand with chainsaws and and pry bars and bolt cutters. Mm -hmm. So um, it, it's very it's very dangerous. So if you do register and you find out that your loved one is now safe, thank God that's okay. But please let us know so that we don't we can spend our, our precious resources and time on people that need to get out because people are dying out here. People are dying. We had a report this morning of someone uh, that was found floating in the river of a house that we were going to hit today. Uh -huh. So uh, the, 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 the death is very real. Lots of injuries. It's, it's catastrophic here. It's, it is a war zone. And I know what I'm talking about. Brian, Godspeed. God bless. Uh, be safe out there. Okay. Thank you. The other thing, just real quick, I just want to give a big shout out, Florida Fish and Wildlife, uh, U.S. Coast Guard helicopter guys, Sanibel Fire, Sanibel Police, all these different, all these different first responders are absolute heroes out here. They are, their own homes are devastated and they're out here chopping in the woods with us. It is the, and all the volunteers that have come up, to come out. It is the absolute best part of America. There's no politics out here. There's not a single Republican, not a single Democrat. This is about, this is the best part of American uh, of, of America. Watching Americans help other Americans. It's inspiring to me. It motivates my team, and it's what this is all about. It brings a tear to my eye just watching this uh, and what's going on. It really is a beautiful thing. Please donate to either us or another reputable organization. No, oh, it truly is amazing. The best of humanity coming out. Uh, politics aside, this is about support and loving your neighbor. And Brian, you are leading that effort. Uh, Brian Stern with Project Dynamo. Uh, be safe, and we'll check back in. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.